Why, why would a police officer assume that you did something bad? Maybe because of my skin color. I keep thinking about an alternate universe. It's a universe in which parents have to have pointed conversations with their daughters and sons, essential conversations, survival strategies, conversations about how they should address police were they to be pulled over, where they should put their hands, which words to use to ensure they don't meet a violent, tragic end. We actually have a line that we do at our house. We practice this thing. What is it? I'm Ariel Sky Williams. I'm eight years old. I'm unarmed and I have nothing that will hurt you. It's just kind of a thing we practice at our house. It couldn't be a further universe from the one in which I've been living, and that's why it struck me when I learned about it only just last week. It seems clear to me that if such a basic safety strategy for so many seems so alien to me as to be from another universe, there must be about a million other such things in this distant cosmos that I've never had to give even the slightest consideration to. I rewatched the 1989 movie Do the Right Thing today. It's a dramatic story of race relations in bed -Stuy centering around a neighborhood staple, Sal's Pizzeria. Tension culminates in a kind of riot outside the pizza spot where white police officers strangle in the heat of things a beloved character from the block named Radio Rahim. It's a fictional story, but one which rings true enough that there's a dedication in its credits to real life victims of similar police encounters. Eleanor Bumpers, Yvonne Smallwood, Edmund Perry, Michael Stewart. I watch the credits crawl wondering if anybody in the cast of this 30 year old movie remembers any of those names today. Will we remember George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Botham John, Philandra Castile, Sandra Bland, Freddie Gray, Walter Scott, Tamir Rice, Laquan McDonald, Michael Brown, Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin. the justice in a criminal justice system in which black people are 20% more likely to be sentenced to jail time and 20% longer sentence than whites for similar crimes. Why does 13% of our population make up 40% of our prison population? Stand up for us, please. I can't do that as a black man. But as white people, you guys have that ability to hold one another accountable. Please hold each other accountable. Check one another. Hey, that's not right. Hey, when Park sat, people said it was wrong. When MLK spoke, people said it was wrong. When people peacefully marched in Selma, people said it was wrong. When Kaepernick knelt, people said it was wrong. What is the right way to protest 
when you have experienced 400 plus years of second class citizenship and dehumanizing treatment. Continue to speak just in an unjust room. Regardless of the consequences, regardless of the backlash, we're with you. We need that truth and continue to spread that truth for us because people need to know what's truly going on so we can game plan as far as how to fight against these oppressive forces. When will white people see that they may struggle, but never because of the color of their skin? What has gotten so skewed that it is okay to protest not being able to get a haircut during a pandemic, armed with an assault rifle, but not okay to peacefully protest the innocent killing of one of our own citizens by the very people that are supposed to protect us? Your silence is damaging. What are you defending right now? Denial is the heartbeat of racism, beating across ideologies, races, and nations. The opposite of racist isn't not racist, it is anti-racist. The claim of not racist neutrality is a mask for racism. Racist is not the equivalent of a slur. The only way to undo racism is to constantly identify and describe it and then dismantle it. The attempt to turn this usually descriptive term into an almost unusable slur is, of course, designed to do the opposite, to freeze us in inaction. Someday maybe we'll be in our 80s in a park somewhere, explaining to our children's children that black parents used to have to have targeted conversations with their daughters and sons about how to talk to police. Maybe it'll seem so distant to us then that we'll have almost forgotten this moment. But we can never forget their names.